Hi boys and girls, it's Mr. Wassman, and today we are exploring equivalent names for fractions. We're in our math journal on page 71, unit 3, lesson 2, so let's dive in. What you see here is a table, and it's asking you to come up with equivalent fractions uh, for the fractions that are listed in the column on the left. So equivalent just means the same value. So how can I represent uh, a fraction uh, that equals the uh, uh, value in the left. So let's start with one half, okay? And actually I'm going to draw some pictures off into the margin. So let's say I had a square and I divided it into two parts, like so. One half would be represented this way filling one of the two portions of that square with yellow represents that that is one half, okay? Now, if I were to, say, divide that square again, like so, I have now created four parts, equal parts, and two of those parts are shaded in, okay? So, two-fourths is equivalent to one-half. So off here in the sides, I can write the fraction two over four, two-fourths. Okay, now let's look at that model again. This time I'm going to draw another one. So I have another square, and I've divided it in half. And one half is shaded in. That's one half. Now instead of dividing it again uh, in half, which gave us fourths, let's say I take my square and I divide it into thirds, cutting across like this. What I've done is I've basically divided each half into three parts. Uh, so that creates a total of six parts. So this fraction up here is two-fourths because there are four parts total and two of them are shaded in. This one is three-sixths because there are six parts total and only three of them are shaded in. Three-sixths. And both two-fourths and three-sixths are equivalent to one-half. Now I'm wondering if you notice a trend here. 1 over 2, 2 over 4, 3 over 6. So when we are creating equivalent fractions, the way that you can uh, easily come up with some numbers is just by skip counting. Now, the top number, which is our numerator, is 1 in 1 half. And so we increase by 1 to come up with equivalent fractions. 1, 2, 3. So logically, our next equivalent fraction would be have a 4 at the top. Now the bottom number, the denominator, uh, that's a 2. So we would skip count or increase the denominator by 2. 2, 4, 6. So if I skip count by 2s and I follow that same pattern, my next equivalent fraction would be 4 eighths. And that works out to be true because if I were to say divide this again, like so, my four parts have become eight parts, and if I count the number of parts that are yellow, I have four, four eighths. So two fourths is the equivalent of four eighths, which is all equivalent to one half. So I could take a look at each of these fractions and just realize that I'm just skip counting here. And I could continue that pattern. Four eighths, five, six, seven, ten, twelve, fourteen, and so on. All those fractions are equivalent to one half because the numerator or top number is increasing by one the bottom number, or denominator, is increasing by 2. Now let's apply that to a different set of fractions. Let's look at, uh, well, let's look at 2 thirds, okay? The numerator
numerator is 2, the denominator is 3. So in order to find equivalent fractions, I could just skip count like I did with 1 half. 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. So I'm increasing my numerator, my top number, by 2's. Then the bottom number, or the denominator, I would increase by 3. So if I skip count by 3's, 3 plus 3 gives me 6. 6 plus 3 would give me 9. 9 plus 3 would give me 12. And then again, I am just following a pattern of skip counting or uh, ticking off multiples of 3. Okay, So 12 eighteenths is equivalent to 2 thirds because 12 is a multiple of 2 and 18 is a multiple of 3. Okay, And that's how we would find the equivalent fractions in this exercise. I just have to look at the top number and then skip count by that number and then look at the bottom number and skip count by that number as well. Okay. If you have any questions about this activity, feel free to reach out to your math teacher. Otherwise, uh, good luck, and uh, we'll talk again soon. Thanks.